the MAP project was looking to improve the mobility and autonomy of children with end-stage heart failure. And our goal was to help the smallest of heart patients, children waiting for a donor heart. For these children, they uh, have very severe heart failure and their heart can't support them themselves. So they need an additional device, a ventricular assist device, that supports them during the long wait for a donor heart. This device hangs outside their body, has a pneumatic driving system, and often requ requires a driving unit to power that and pump the blood back and forth. The previous device was based on a compressor technology, so it was 90 kilograms large, it was stationary, uh, it had a very short-term battery, 30 minutes. And through this project, we were able to miniaturize this using piston technology. So it had two parts, one was the driver, but the other part was developing an educational platform that then showed how to use the driver and how to handle many everyday act activities. This also gives people more confidence and autonomy in using the device. We've had patients uh, in hospital which have had visitor re restrictions due to corona or COVID-19, and it's been difficult for the whole family to come visit them. So we have the possibility for the brothers and sisters to come meet them in the open air out in the garden because of the Escort Active. We were inspired by the resilience and also the uh, optimism of the patients and the families themselves. And by giving them this freedom of movement and this mobility, we were supporting them and reduced stress during the long waiting time and uncertain waiting time for a new heart.